Now, let us understand one of the glands, exocrine glands. Exocrine glands are glands which have a proper vessels or ducts to carry their secretion to their target organ. Say an example for salivary gland. We have three salivary glands present on both sides. This is the exocrine gland, all right? The verb vessels or the ducts, which pour there. So these ducts pour saliva into our mouth. Okay. Next, now we have the endocrine glands. The endocrine glands are glands which pour their secretions directly into the blood vessels. Say for an example an endocrine gland. The gland is placed near the blood vessels and they keep on pouring their secretion into their blood stream. Okay. Next one we have metocrine gland. It is also known as endocrine gland or exocrine glands because they perform both their functions example pancreas all these glands we are going to learn one by one in detail now we just have to focus on the endocrine glands they are so according to the syllabus we have the adrenal glands we have the pancreas we have the thyroid gland and pituitary gland okay the spelling of thyroid gland all right and pituitary gland now let us understand hormones now. What are hormones? Hormones are the chemicals produced by the endocrine system and are poured directly into the blood. Okay, it is poured directly into the blood. So, example, hormones are produced away from the source of production. Now, say example, if a reproductive system, okay, require uh, requires a hormone so so if the brain produces hormone so action is in the reproductive system so if the action has to take so it is away from the main system 